there and welcome to my chaos. So the other day Disney Dreamlight Valley announced that they will be adding Dreamlight infused animal companions to the game. Kind of like Pua, you know he's the only animal companion we have at this point in the game so far that sparkles while all of the rest of the animal companions don't. So I'm assuming that that's what that means by Dreamlight infused animal companions that we will be able to purchase from the premium shop. So today I wanted to make some predictions about some of the animal companions or at least just you know companions that we may be getting in the future. So originally I was thinking oh you know this would be a great time to add characters like Thumper or Flower from Bambi because he's so cute but then I realized they talk in the movie and none of our animal companions talk at least not yet and I'm like how would they make that work because all the other characters in the game do talk or at least have some kind of speech audio whatever going on well the animal companions they kind of make like little critter sounds they're not actually talking to us now if we were to have like an animal companion like Mushu who talks all the time I just I don't know how they would make that work so I'm assuming at least at this point that most, if not all, of the animal companions that they are planning on adding to the game are probably non-speaking animal sidekicks or characters. It's possible that they might have speaking companions, and I did make a list of ones that I thought would be amazing companions. But we're going to start with what I believe is the most likely animal companions that we will be getting in the near future. First of all, we have little baby Figaro. What a cutie from originally, not Beauty and the Beast, hello, from Pinocchio, but he is often found alongside Minnie Mouse because a lot of times they would put him with the cartoons and he's just such a cutie. I just, in a little kitty cat. Ah! Um, also, Pluto is a possibility. However, I just can't. One, he's really large. He's a large figure. And I just can't see him being with anybody but Mickey, it feels like he should just be a character in the game, right? So I, I don't think Pluto would be a good fit. But Figaro? <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine if the characters got to have companions. Wait, what the what then we wouldn't have like Pua. They wouldn't be following us around. They'd be fo whatever. Anyway. Next on my list I have the one and only Lucifer. <laughs> I love this kitty cat so much. He's one of my favorite Disney characters and he's a non-talking character. So I think he would make for a great animal companion and also a Disney villain themed companion, which we always need villain representation. So you know, you know your girl, you know your girl loves some Disney villain representation. Okay. I will spend my real life money to have you win a game. Yes, yes I will, Disney. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, no, I love Lucifer. He is one of my favorite Disney characters, period. Um, next on my list, I have Dinah from Alice in Wonderland. I don't know how likely she would be. She is adorable, like cutie but tootie, but I don't know, she's not like, memorable I guess. She's not one of the bigger sidekick characters that we have in the universe. So I don't know what the likelihood is of having Miss Dinah but she would be a very cute addition. Next up we have Diablo from Sleeping Beauty. If you don't know he is Maleficent's Raven. Now we do already have Ravens but we don't have Diablo. Okay. Now I don't know how likely he would be either. Actually I mean, if we get Maleficent in the game, which I'm assuming she's coming because like I've said before, Disney should know better by now than to not invite Maleficent to the party, right? Um, if she comes, I would think that he would be a great animal companion to come alongside her. And I know that he looks similar to the ravens that we already have, but he's Diablo. So there's a difference. <laughs> I also have Max from The Little Mermaid. Now I'm not sure if Disney's ever going to get into the larger animal companions because I would consider him to be pretty 
pretty big. It's possible that we could have bigger animal companions down the road, but I don't know that it's likely at this point in the game. So I'm not seeing him being a likely figure, but I think he would make a great animal companion. Who I think is extremely likely is Abu from Aladdin. He doesn't talk, he's adorable, he's chaotic. Also, he's a monkey and we don't have a monkey. We need a monkey, who doesn't love a monkey, okay? <laughs> he's a cutie, like we can't, we have to have Abu, right? Um, and then we have, I think the one that I want the most other than Lucifer is Miko. I love Miko. And like, yes, we already have raccoons, but we don't have Miko. I want to feed Miko some crackers all day. all day. I wonder if like, because you know how the animal companions that are in the game, they have favorite food. Like does Pua have a favorite food? Has that been... Have we discovered that yet? Oh, we can't feed them yet. We can't feed them yet. But regardless, I want to feed Miko not crackers, biscuits. He loves like the little cookies, biscuit things. Also from Pocahontas, we have Flit. Now I'm not sure how likely he is because he's just a little hummingbird. He tiny. I wouldn't say that he's the most popular animal sidekick. He, Miko kind of stole the show, but I do love me some Flit. I just don't know how likely he would be, so... Also from Pocahontas, another non-talking animal companion, is Percy the Pug, who was Governor Radcliffe's little puppy. <laughs> he was adorable. He was so cute. I loved Percy. He was great. I would love to have him as an animal sidekick. I think he'd be a great choice. We also have Jolly, I think I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is Esmeralda's goat. And I do believe that I heard something about Disney making a live action Hunchback of Notre Dame. And if that's the case, I feel like if, I don't know when that movie's coming out, if it even, I, I don't know. But if that's true, whenever that comes closer or gets released, I think that would be a great opportunity to release Jolly as an animal companion. And he's adorable. He's so cute. So I think he would also make a great choice. And we need more Hunchback of Notre Dame love. Because personally, I think it's one of Disney's best movies ever. Um, it doesn't get enough love. I, d I guess because it's not like plushy, but it, it's it's so good. It's such a good movie. It needs more love. Would love to see Jolly as an animal companion. Um, next on my list, I have Cricky from Mulan. Um, kind of like Flit. He's very small. Very small. So I don't know. He might just get lost in the game. I don't think he's very likely, although he would be very cute. I think more likely from Mulan would be Little Brother, and although he did not play a large part at all in the movie, he was really in it for just a few seconds, but he's so cute. He's so cute. How could you not? How could you not? Great choice. 10 out of 10, little brother. Lesser known sidekick that I think would be really cool, not an animal companion, but like if they add this movie to Disney Dreamlight Valley, I think it would just be really awesome as an animal companion. I have Morph. Like, can you imagine how cool that would be just having that follow you around? It'd be so cool. It'd be so... I would love to see it. I would love to see the animations. It might be too much. You know what? No. I'm going to shoot for the stars. It's not too much. Add morph. Add morph to the game. Just because... Why not? Why not? Look at how cute he is. How could you not? A little more of a likely choice, though. We do have the one and only Pascal from Tangled, who... I mean, look at him. How? How? How could you not add that? How? Yes, he's small, and I think that could be an issue because kind of like Flit and, um, who did I have? Oh, Cricky. Kind of like Flit and Cricky, he would probably get, like, visually lost, but how could you not? Make it work. <laughs> I don't know how, but make it work. We need to see Pascal somehow, some way. Although that would be cute if, like, Rapunzel gets added and we would occasionally see him on, like, her shoulder or something. But, yeah, no, he's, he, he's adorable. Um, even more likely than Pascal, I've, you know, you know, 100%, that we are getting Hey Hey. Like, they haven't confirmed it, but come on. Hey Hey. 
hey hey right like they have to <laughs> there, there's no way around it like all of the other ones like oh maybe yeah that's a good idea mm -mm, no you know we are getting hey hey they're not gonna not give it to us we're getting hey hey period mm -hmm. <laughs> also so this one is a little bit of um up in the air kind of thing especially since they talk but the green aliens I actually think would make for interesting sidekicks like not just being restricted to animal companions and we're able to you know have like objects like morph <laughs> um the green aliens I think would be a great choice because although they are speaking they really they're not like Mushu <laughs> they're not like who else do I they're not like Mushu they're not like the Cheshire Cat or Scuttle right they all they really need to say is <laughs> but we don't need any more than that like they don't need to talk right so I think just having like three of them or something or even no you, you can't just have one you have to have three of them right a little, a little bundle of aliens just following you around I think it would be cute although I don't know how it would work with like photo mode and picking them up and like petting them so maybe not but I think it would be interesting I also have bullseye from Toy Story on the list I once again I don't I don't know I don't think he's very likely because once again he's just he's small but so are Woody and Buzz but I, I don't know how that would work with like a sidekick I feel like it might be a little awkward having bullseye for some reason but maybe that's just me um an interesting one that I have and once again he's another talking character but I wanted to include it anyway just because I thought it would be I don't know I thought it would be like a really cool idea like not likely but Mo from Wally -E. right like having this cute little robot just like <laughs> following you around all day I could feed him like, well, you can't feed them. I would pet Mo though. Mm -hmm. He's a cute little robot. So, you know, I just, I don't know. And a couple others I have. If Disney decides to add the claymation classics like Nightmare Before Christmas, Max would be so beautiful. He'd be so beautiful just flying around behind you. Be so cute, right? Come on, Max. Max. Also, from Frank and Weenie, we have Sparky, who's just, he's just a cutie patootie. He's so cute. How could we not? So that's the list I have of all the non-talking animal companions that are small. I will go over my large animal companion list really quick. I don't think that it's likely, but let's just Let's put it out into the universe because you never know. So first off, I had Pluto. We did talk about him before. I also have Raja from Aladdin. Could you imagine just a big old tiger following you around? But then it would be weird. You know what? No, they're not going to give us big ones, right? Because you already have like characters like Scar following you around. Why would you have this other big old animal following you around? Whatever. Um, Pegasus would be cool. Sven from Frozen. Kevin from Up. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin's babies! That would be really good. Like, not Kevin herself, but, like, baby Kevins. Maybe. Uh, you know, I'm the, I'm, that's a possibility. Whatever. Um, and also Maximus. But I just, like I said, I don't know what the likelihood is of having the larger animal companions. Visually, just, it seems like it would be a lot to have them following you around as well as the whatever character you're hanging out with at the time. It would just be too much, I think. I also have a list of talking characters that I think would make great companions. Like, they don't necessarily have to talk a lot, and they're cute, what I'm thinking. We have Thumper from Bambi, obviously. Flower from Bambi, obviously. I want Flower. I want a skunky wonky. Disney make it happen. Jacques and Gus from Cinderella. They're so cute. I love them. Um, the Cheshire Cat, but see like the, the Cheshire Cat is so chaotic that I just, I don't know how it would work, right? 
Um, we also have Artemis from The Sword in the Stone because Merlin needs a companion. Merlin needs someone too. He needs someone from his film. Give us Artemis. Oliver from Oliver and Company, a cute little baby kitty cat. I think Dodger would be too much. He's just, he's too charismatic. If he were in the game, which I don't think he would be coming at any time, he would need to talk, you know? But Oliver, I think he could work as a companion. I don't see him having to talk a lot to work in the game. Scuttle from The Little Mermaid, who notoriously talks a lot, so I don't know how well he would work. Sebastian, cutie patootie, also talks a lot. Lumiere, oh my god, could you imagine? He'd be so cool. Oh my gosh, what about like the footstool? from Beauty and the Beast. He doesn't talk. That could be an animal companion. We added one more to the list. Mm -hmm. All right, also, <laughs> back to the talking ones though. I have Iago from Aladdin. Um, Timon and Pumbaa, like what if they weren't characters but they were sidekicks? But again, how can you have Timon and Pumbaa not like talking to you all day long? It just seems not right, but whatever. <laughs> Zazu from Lion King, Mushu from Mulan, and also Ray from Princess and the Frog. He's just so cute, but he would probably once again kind of like flit, would visually get lost, but at least he has the light on him, so he'd be easier to find. <laughs> anyway, those are all of my predictions for the Dreamlight infused animal companions or companions that could be coming to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Let me know if I missed one and if there's anyone you are really hoping to see in the game. And if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!